hello friends now we discuss about thermo and thermo setting plastics the difference between these two thermo plastic and thermo setting plastics in this polymer so thermo and thermo setting plastics somewhat sound similar but they have totally different properties and different applications basically it depends upon the stability to withstand the temperature so thermoplastic can be synthesized by an addition polymerization thermosetting can be synthesized by in condensation polymer what's an addition polymerization addition polymerization is just an addition of monomers to form a long chain compound without elimination of any molecules but here thermoplastic there will be an elimination of certain molecules like ammonia water etc so thermoplastics can be done by an injection molding extrusion processing blow molding methods rotational molding methods etc but thermosetting plastic can be processed by only compressed and reaction injection molding so it's very difficult to form they have secondary bonds between the molecular chains the bonds are not so very strong but thermo molecule has thermo setting has a primary bond molecule they have an interlinked strong cross linked polymeric network which makes it very strong and brittle the thermoplastics have low melting point and low tensile strength with the increase in temperature it will melt so while heating it becomes soft and while cooling it becomes hard but thermosetting plastic have high melting point high tensile strength it won't melt on heating it can withstand a very high temperature but after the but after the temperature it will burn to a carbon cannot be recycled thermosetting plastic cannot be recycled thermoplastics can be recycled thermoplastics have low molecular weight but thermosetting plastic have high molecular weight so thermoplastic can be recycled yes we can recycle nylon polystyrene teflon acrylic compounds examples of thermoplastics the examples of thermosetting plastic is yes, bakelite we use bakelite in our switch box in our cooker hand bar in cooking utensil hand materials polyurethane epoxy resin used in mechanical materials vinyl ester resins so these are the examples of thermo and thermosetting plastics so these things you have to learn you search for another plastics so the difference between these two is very very important to understand the property of the plastic materials